Yeah, this will be fun. Okay, take three. Whatever, take three. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to the third installment of the Untamed Interview Series. Today, I'm sat here with a good friend of mine. Uh, he is a serial uh, entrepreneur, been investing since he was 12, funding hedges since he was in diapers, lives here in the boonies in North Carolina, which is where we are currently sat. Uh, we're currently in his plane. He lives a lifestyle that he loves, uh, that everyone else loves. Um, many men want to be him. Many women want to be with him. I'm, I'm, glad, sure. you, I'm glad you didn't say that the I'm other sure. way. Yeah, sometimes, <laughs> some people. And uh, anyway, it's, uh, no further ado, uh, this is Mark Yegi. Hey. How are you? I'm awesome. Hey, everybody. It's a beautiful day here. I'll give you a quick span of where we're sat. This is the uh, Andrews base in North Carolina near his house. This is the uh, Cessna 310 twin that we're currently sat in, which is not something you do every day. And I just wanted to... Uh, I've never done an interview on my airplane. That's, no, this well, is you're kind of, welcome. This is the first. You're welcome. Yeah, thanks. Um, so I thought I'd take this opportunity to ask him a couple of questions and hopefully inspire a few of you out there. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully you can start living the kind of lifestyle that this guy leads. Um, so Mark, like we've touched upon already, you, uh, you live a fairly epic lifestyle. You sat in your plane at the moment, we're about to go flying around, we went kayaking yesterday, uh, we went hiking the day before, you spent, the, you spent the weekend in Chicago, uh, you work a few hours a day um, funding hedges, and uh, yeah, you've got the freedom and the flexibility to do what you like, so can you tell us, was there any point in your, in your career or, or, or lifestyle as an, or life as an entrepreneur where there was an inflection point where you went from being trading time for money and being busy all the time to, to this lifestyle? Well, I mean, as as your whole concept is, is that we're we 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 think we buy into the fallacy that we're taught, and that's go to school, get a good degree, go to work and do a nine to five job, take your two weeks of vacation every year, and then when you're sixty five, you can enjoy retirement, whatever that mm -hmm. is. But the problem is, you're just waiting. It's basically a long suicide when you're sixty five because you're tired. You might have some money saved up, but you don't have the energy as much anymore. And I just didn't want to do that. So there was an inflection point a few years ago where. You know, I'd seen this lifestyle and I always want, you know, people like you are exposing this lifestyle now to, to the rest of the world and I, and I wanted to, to be a part of it. And I just had to make the right choices to be able to do it. And so now I, you know, when you people, when you say trading hedges, it sounds so funny to me because I wonder what people think with that. But I have a, I have a pool of money that I trade for my friends, family, and, and people that you know trust me to invest their money, and it allows me to to live this lifestyle because I get to go anywhere, open up my laptop, <clears throat> do my research, and do the trades uh, from anywhere in the world. And that's what I do. So it's fun. Fantastic. It's just fun. to give it a little bit of an insight, um, just so we're not taking the piss completely. What what percentage are you up this year currently with your fund? Well, I don't like to brag no. about it. <clears throat> I mean, the main thing that we do is we protect the uh, we protect the downside. Yeah. And by protecting the downside, we have a we're having a really great year. We we, we average about forty five percent a year, but we're up about eighty four percent right now. Shit. So up to the third quarter, anyway. That's so. fairly impressive. Thank you. So, so in your in your journey through to up to this point, um, something I drone on about all the time in in my interviews in in a lot of the articles I write um, is the importance of self-awareness and for my mentoring it's the first step I take people on on this journey of, of realization from from taking them from a nine to five to to the lifestyle of financial freedom and doing whatever the, the hell they like um, what part did uh, self-awareness play with your in your journey how, and how how much emphasis do you put on it well you know it's all an evolution so there's nothing really in my life that would change because it's all led me to this exact point no regrets but you have to recognize what your strengths and weaknesses are, and I'm a big believer in you build on your strengths, you don't try to improve your weaknesses. Yeah. So you take you take what you're good at, and you basically either get rid of or delegate what you're not good at, and um, and then you can just kind of, it, then it's like all fun. I don't even call it work. I mean, I, I, get to, uh, I get to trade in the market, and I get to get paid for that. And spend time with me. And I get to hang out with cool always, people like you. Which is under underestimated. Totally. Yeah. I, I should be paying you. <laughs> so you did the profile test, the, yeah, the, ta yeah. the talent dynamics profile test. What what profile were you? I'm a creator. Okay. So do you like to tell the, uh, tell the audience um, the, the quick outline of what a creator is and how you've how you align your business around that and what your strengths and weaknesses are? Yeah, basically in creators, it's fairly obvious. It's what it sounds like. It's people that take, they're really good at starting stuff, visualizing things, doing things at a high level. Uh, may not be the best at finishing stuff, sewing the sewing the sutures back shut after the surgery kind of thing. So, um, so you need people around you, uh, accumulators, supporters, mm -hmm. those other roles that uh, that take place to support you. So you can it, it, nobody does it alone, right? So you can achieve your mission when you get those other people around you. But primarily, when I'm creating, I feel like I'm in flow. I'm a musician. I'm a pilot. I do a lot of 
cool stuff and when I get to create magical experiences and create new things that are cool mm. and that other people can get value yeah. of, I feel like I'm in total flow. Awesome. So you don't spend your time and energy trying to build on the fact that you're not great at finishing things. You find other people to do that for right. you. Right. Like I, like I can read accounting statements and I, 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 I do read a lot of accounting statements, but when it comes to doing the accounting, my own personal accounting, the accounting for the corporations, I'm not the right guy to do it. So I, I have somebody that's awesome at it, that likes to do it and does a super job and I just get to read the reports mm -hmm. and, and, um, and act on those. And that person is meeting their dharma and I'm meeting my dharma because we're each doing things that we like. And, and, and in saying that, what, what that means <laughs> is that not every entrepreneur is a creator type out there. Right. Not every entrepreneur has to come up with 100 ideas a day. There's, there's, there's a role for everyone. So, mm -hmm. so that person does your accounts. They could be an entrepreneur. Yeah, they, they, they love the details and they rely on the fact that there's people like you and me out there who hate the details. And, and we underestimate that because mm -hmm. we think that if, if you're not like us, it's maybe a different thing that, oh, it's too bad that they don't have the, the creator mentality. But it's not all creators that are entrepreneurs. I mean, Steve Jobs was a creator, but the guy that's running it now, Tim Cook, is not a creator. Yeah. He was the account. He was the CFO. He was the accountant person. And he's doing a phenomenal job running Apple. Um, but they haven't created anything since. But they don't create Chipsler. anything anymore. Yeah. yeah, they just keep making iPhones. Yeah, yeah exactly. All right. Well, uh, save boring everyone because I know everyone's attention span is so short these days, and, and I don't generally have much interesting stuff to say. So we'll probably we'll probably leave it there and head up fly, flying, shall we? Let's go do it. Finish some pre-flight checks, and we'll uh, we'll fun. see you on the on the other side. Hopefully, fingers crossed.